everybody, so I'm kind of freaking out right now. When I was on the way to the shops for this video, I checked my subscriber account and least bug had subscribed to me. And I freaked out in the car, I was like, oh my god, I'm like in tears. I got home and I had tons of Instagram notifications tagging me and I was in one of her videos and she said she loved me and she subscribed to me so hi Lisa if you're watching this thank you literally so much and if you're coming from Lisa's channel hi thank you so much Lisa like literally this means the world to me I'm gonna stop freaking out now because this is not the point of the video but oh I just need to calm down anyway on to the actual point of this video I have said in a few videos before that I'm not the biggest fan of Primark and I don't tend to buy their clothes there. My general image of Primark is that like from two years ago when all their stuff was cheap and really tacky and neon colours but recently I've been watching quite a few Primark calls and like some of the stuff actually seems quite Topshop-esque so I popped in today to see if I could find anything that I like and I came out with this bag cool 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 but yeah I'm just gonna show you guys what I bought this isn't like the biggest Primark haul in the world it's only like six items but still I wanted to show you guys this sorry for the hat <coughs> my hair is awful so I'm gonna start off with like a homeware thing I bought and I got this thermal mug and it's just this really nice glittery pattern I saw this on Caitlin Rose's channel and I wanted to pick this up for myself but the things are actually like cracked like the cups cracked and I don't know, I, sh I don't know, I think the cup's still gonna work fine, so I don't really know if I should return it or not. I don't think I am, but yeah, the only thing, I love the pattern, but it's just like really cracked. And I then got myself a pair of booties, and these are literally my dream shoes. They, I've been looking for a fake pair of Timberlands for ages, because I do not have the money to spend on those real ones. And Primark did them, and they are these really cute ones. I think they were 15 pounds. Yeah, 15 pounds, and I am obsessed with these. I am going to be wearing these so much and expect to see these in so many lookbooks and outfit of the days and stuff. And yeah, they've got like the tiniest, tiniest heel, but it's pretty unnoticeable. And yeah, I am literally in love with these. And the quality is actually really sturdy, and I tried them on in the shop, and like they were comfy to walk in and everything. Moving on to something else, I got this jumper, this wet shirt, and it was five pounds. It just says Fry Yay, and then it says Hurry Up weekend and I just love it it's white it's very me it's like monochrome I probably would more wear this around the house and like revision days but I pro I could still very easily style this with like a denim jacket black shoes and my Timberlands and still wear it out and look good and it's quite a thin material but I guess now we're going into spring and summer that's quite good because you don't want to be wearing like massive thick jumpers which are overheating you and this is a try on haul because I did buy all the stuff today I did try it on in the dressing room but it's a try on haul. Next, ooh, oh, I was really happy with these. These were eight pounds and they're just these like, oh, these are really see-through, but like they're just these like patterned Aztec trousers and I thought they were harem, but now looking at them, they're not really. And I've been wanting a pair of these like type of trousers for ages and these would be perfect for lounging around the house in revision. I was gonna buy another pair of pajamas because if you do or do not know, I bought a Despicable Me pair like a, couple, like a week ago. But I decided to go for these instead because I could still wear these in like the summer on the beach, on holiday, or like on the aeroplane and stuff, and they can be more like stylized. Next! Oh, I got this top. Um, this was like six pounds, and it just says, what does it say? Musée de la Vie, Paris Romantique. It's like the Museum of Life, Paris Romantic 16. Do French GCSEs. And it's just like this striped pattern and it's like it's got a turtleneck. Really actually love this. It's not primark -y at all. Like this looks like something you'd find in like H&M or something. And I was really happy when I found this in the shop. This is my last item already. Wow, was this really a Primark haul? No, not really. Um, <laughs> I don't even know if I can count this as a Primark haul, but I'm gonna upload it anyway. The last thing I got was this salt and pepper cardigan. This was originally £12 and I got it for £5 because it's like their winter I guess range because it's quite thick but it is short sleeve so I can easily wear this in the spring on like those colder dates and around the house I've been wanting a salt and pepper cardigan for so long and I wanted a long sleeve one 
But this one was £5 and I really just couldn't miss up past the offer. So that's everything for the Primark haul. To be honest, I think I'm going to show you everything else I bought today because this haul isn't very long. So, moving on to Topshop. Um, I got this backpack and I'm literally so in love with it. This was £28 and it's got a zip here, a zip here and a big zip across the back and it's like holographic. I am so in love with this and if you want to see what's in my bag give this video a big thumbs up and the final thing I got from Topshop was this lipstick in the shade Pillow Talk I've seen it Lily Melrose I think I rave about this and I wanted to try Topshop lipstick for a while now anyway and I picked this one up and I really like the shade so I'll show you it it's like just really nice pinky shade it's not too fluorescent it's very easy wearable day to day pinky shade and yeah and I love the packaging so much the final place I went to today was Boots and they had a 3 for 2 on all cosmetics so I got 6 products for £23 I think so before you go oh my god you spent so much I got all this for £23 which is a great bargain first thing I got was the Rimmel Extra 3D Lash and I saw my friend Lily Burt talk about this on her channel and I'm not too sure about the wand like the wand is at it's really bizarre, it's so small and tiny, I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, I think this was £5 and I shall try this out. I then got another Revlon Lip Butter because I've been getting into these so much at the moment. And this is in the shade Creme Brulee and it's just this really nice brownie nude colour, Very, it's like velvet teddy-esque. And I really like this and this was £8 which is quite pricey. I then got the final baby skin to add to my collection and this is in Cool Rose. And this is the one that everyone loves the most so I really did want to pick this up. And I do, I'm starting to go back into baby skins, I got the baby skins and I loved them, then I got professional and I used that for ages, and, but recently I've been getting back into baby skins so that's why I picked this one up. I then got another sleek blush because my one in rose gold is, and my palette in lace is life and I got life's a peach to contrast my um, rose gold one, it's just this really nice peachy colour obviously and this is again very everyday wearable and perfect for the springtime and finally i got two nail varnishes one is a quick dry one from barry m and it is in the shade pit stop i saw gabby talk about this i think and it's like literally the same color for your nails so it's really nice nudie nail color is that a thing i don't know but i'm going to be putting my nails with this tonight and my final one is a jelly high shine from barry m and it's in the shade lychee I think that's how you pronounce it. I've heard Caitlin Rose bang on about this, so I thought I would pick this up as my sixth item. And that is everything in this haul. That was a Primark haul, but turned into other things. I'm still going to name this a Primark haul, though, because that's what I set out to do. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, hi, remember to subscribe. And thank you again, Lisa. Oh, I still genuinely can't believe it. Oh, my God. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you guys next time.